Well, we made it into Douglas Harbour and um, Bev and I and um, our two crew for the uh, trip managed to squeak into the um, uh, Inner Harbour by the narrowest of margins, which means that we uh, crossed um, the uh, from Liverpool to the Isle of Man in 14 hours. Um, we're here for the end of the Isle of Man race, the 99th Isle of Man race, and just feeling part of it, it just feels brilliant. Are you having a mojito there to celebrate? No, it looks like a beer to me. <laughs> Mojitos later, is it? I'm Chris Powersmith from the boat Aurelia. She's J122 and we were racing in the midnight race last night today. All the way from Liverpool to the Isle of Man. That's right. And we, we came from Dublin. Uh -huh. We came from Dunleary last weekend to race in this race because we thought it was a very auspicious race and we got very good hospitality in Liverpool. And we're expecting very, even, not I shouldn't say better, but very good hospitality in Isle of Man as well from previous experiences. Hello and welcome to Isle of Man. Okay, <laughs> saw a boat, saw the midnight Liverpool race. Uh, and you are from? I'm from Douglas Bay Yacht Club. And uh, thank you very much for the kind welcome, which uh, is some water and some information. And Coke. <laughs> and Coke. And more importantly, an invitation to the barbecue. Absolutely. 6pm tonight. 6pm <laughs> tonight. Everybody welcome. And just hope everybody enjoys it while they're here, really. It's lovely to see everybody coming over. Brilliant. Well, we finished the uh, adventure. Charlotte, did you enjoy yourself? I had a great time. Excellent. We won. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. we, we, were, were we, we were first. We were first here. First so to me, we are chicken dinners. We are winners. winners. <laughs> yes, we were first to arrive, but we, uh, we used the engine as well as sails. So, come on. All fire in love and war. <laughs> That's true. And now we're going to go off to a barbecue. No, you dancing? Are you asking? I'm asking, darling. In the case we're dancing. As well as the barbecue, we had the Commodore speeches and the results. It was fun joining the 99th Isle of Man race, but now all the yachts are departing and going off on yet another adventure, just like we are. Oh, look at this beautiful beast. The race had arrived in the Isle of Man just at the end of the Tourist Trophy motorbike race and as a result there were motorbikes absolutely everywhere you looked. When there were no bikes parked outside the shops, the bikes were inside the shops. They were everywhere. We decided to go for a walk around Douglas and we discovered a suspiciously modern Art Deco building we also had a look at a local landmark known to the locals as the Lemon Juicer. You can see why.
Oke. Okay. How do you like your seat, Gainu? I absolutely adore it. It is carved out of one piece of wood. And all the seats are different heights so different people can enjoy them. Kids and adults alike. But what, what, what's not to like? Yeah. Very, very broad. Yeah. Later that night, we had a bit of a surprise when YouTubers Matt and Emma rolled up in their new boat, Creo. I've got to uh, go and collect the uh, mooring lines for that in a minute. And just behind them is Creo, who's going to be coming in on the slip next door but one to us. So, right, I'm going to go and get, um, go and go to um, Pride of Man 3. We spent some very pleasant time getting to know Matt and Emma, and Emma cooks a really good chilli. But what happens on the boat stays on the boat, and other than that, we'll just say we had a great time, and it was lovely having them aboard Salty Lass. Here comes the horsey, and I haven't been on one of these since I was 11 years old. We used the horse-drawn trams to take us to the electric tram, which we then took up the coast to Ramsey because there were some mirroring balls up there that we wanted to have a look at. Even in Ramsey, at the back end of the Isle of Man, at the top of the map, there is civilization. Apparently these two gentlemen are King Godred and his son, King Olaf. Godred is credited with creating the Isle of Man in 1079 and his son then ruled for 40 years afterwards before being assassinated by his own nephew. So, um, Happy outcome. He was assassinated here in Ramsey. I knew there'd be hobbits on here somewhere. It was only a matter of time. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're coming into Ramsey Harbour. No. Definitely not, Ben. And this is the outer harbour. Still not very yacht friendly though, No, I don't think I would fancy putting my yacht here unless I was a bilge keeler. Right, so Gaynor, what have we found out? Well, we're in Ramsey and uh, we've just uh, asked the local experts and um, there are three mooring boys 
just on the outside of the pier and they are going to be absolutely perfect for us because we can moor here and then um, we can uh, take the tide right over to White Haven, White Haven yep. uh, which is where we want to go. So this is where we are. That's where we're going to. This is quite literally the end of the line. midnight here on Salty Lass and um, I know you're not going to be able to tell. <laughs> well maybe you are but it's blowing a hooli out here. So um, at the moment Beverly is outside checking the vendors. I'm glad I managed to not pick that straw up uh, and um, this is another kind of rock and roll.